A giant electronic brain has started cogitating at the University of Pennsylvania. It's the world's first electronic computer. Where I work, along with me, there are two other African-American women in all of IT, and I'm the only programmer. Most teams um, that I've worked on in the past are, are typically white males, mm -hmm. right? We don't find a lot of, um, you know, African-Americans or people of color. Um. The impact that that had on me, that, you know, kind of realizing that I, you know, was a young woman, you know, and nobody was going to take me seriously. And the way I counteracted that was I played down my femininity. People do have a stereotypical conception of what engineers look like. Typically, it's a, it's a white, able-bodied male. When software development as a community realized that we had a problem, that at the time I think it was about 15% of all software developers were women, which wasn't enough, I had a moment to really reflect on that. And what bothered me about that wasn't that I hadn't worked with an American woman, but that I didn't notice. It hadn't occurred to me to notice. Women have had a pioneering role in computer science. You know, sometimes people are surprised that I'm a programmer. When those things happened, I did question if I wanted to stay in the field or not. But for a long time, um, I was primarily the, the only uh, minority in the room. We are clearly seeing pushback from some aspects of the culture as well, that they don't want to, to be more inclusive. So I'm hoping that this is the moment where people are just saying, this is not acceptable, it's bad business practice, it's bad practice in any industry or any sector to have this kind of thing going on. If you're black and Latino or Latina, woman, none of that matters to most people in this industry. It's just code.